What's up guys, it's Ophilly215 here and today I'm going to show you how to do the fisheye lens effect in Sony Vegas Pro 13. Okay guys, first off I'm going to show you uh, this clip that I've pretty much gone to the liberty of already editing. Uh, I'm going to show you what we're working with so far so that you'll know, you know how far we've come in the end uh, with the finished product. So here we go, uh, this is what we're working with. Okay, so we're working with that right now. That's what I've already edited together. There's no effects on it, anything. It's just pure, you know, cutting from clip to clip to clip. Um, so now I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do the effect. Uh, if you noticed right here towards the end, um, in Skate 3, I was, uh, you know, I was just using Skate 3 as a good example here. Um, in the replay, uh, option in Skate 3, it already kind of has like a fisheye lens effect to it, but like not really, it just has, um, the, the circle around the image here as you can see, but it doesn't really, I, I don't know, it, do, it doesn't really have the effect though, if that, if that makes sense. It has the gradient, but it doesn't have the effect. So, um, <clears throat> we're gonna go ahead and click in the beginning of our timeline here, and to get the effect, you want to go to Video Effects, and you want to go down to Sphere Eyes. And once you go to Sphere Eyes, you want to go to, uh, you can click any one, um, I'm just going to click Maximum Sphere In, and go ahead and drag that onto our first clip. And you're going to want to go ahead and move that to about, I would say 551 is a good uh, in between. Because as you can notice in this, uh, you know, preview window here, all the way up is just way too much, and in the middle you could, you would barely, you wouldn't even notice it. So I would say 551 right here is good, and we're gonna go ahead and um, we can make a preset just so it'll be quicker to drag on. Um, we could go ahead and name this, I don't know, fisheye lens effect. So. There we go. Um, I'm going to click the floppy disk and now we saved it so we could go ahead and now just drag that bitch right on. Hold on, maybe I got to click off, click back on. Uh, there it goes. So we're going to go ahead and drag that onto every one of our clips here. And you'll be able to tell that it's already on there because this. Um, this effect button, the uh, event effects, will turn green as um, so it's already on every one now. But um, so now we have the fisheye lens effect on the entire clip here, and to really throw it over the top, because as you notice, unlike in the end here with the, uh, the the replay option where it already has the gradient, through the rest of the clip there is no gradient. So we're gonna go ahead and now go to. I think it's under it's under media generators and you want to go to color gradient and then go to elliptical the, the, this one you'll see it elliptical transparent to black and we're gonna drag that over top and we could exit out of that real quick we're gonna drag it to the length of the clip and now we could go back and go to I believe you click this button right here it's uh, I think it's yeah generated media and you could leave the gradient type on elliptical that's fine the best way to do this effect real quick and easy drag two all the way to the corner and then drag one um to wherever you feel comfortable that you think it looks good I think I think like right around here looks fine to me I mean that, that looks fine to me so now that that's there um I'm going to go ahead and pre-render this and I'll show you with what we got so far. Okay guys, it's pre-rendered so uh, let's check this out. Now, I know 
know what you're thinking. It, the the fisheye lens effect definitely makes my guy look like he's 500 pounds overweight. But you know, you don't have to use it for you know skating, you know, vid, uh, game footage or anything like that. It could be used for multiple purposes. You know, whatever the whatever the use. I think it, it's a good effect. So um, there's the effect right there. But to add it over the top, I want to add a couple more in. Um, one is uh, a transition here, and it is, it's actually under gradient wipe, and it's called nubulus, and I'm going to add it right here, and you really don't have to mess with it too much, um, I'm going to move my cursor right here and click so we can kind of see what's going on, so it just kind of looks like it's almost tearing from the inside. And um, leaving it default is pretty good. Um, the blur to it, I, I honestly I wouldn't even mess with anything. So we're gonna go ahead and remove it and re-put it back on. I think default it looks fine. So there's that. And the next effect that you've seen in the very beginning of the video, where um, it cuts to three separate uh, pictures here at the end, I've already got that set up. So, well, not set up, but in a way that I can add it easily. Uh, so now we're going to go to, I believe it's video effects. Yeah, I think so. And um, should be new blue V6 tile. And we're going to go to uh, uh, Ven Ven Venetian blinds. I don't know, whatever. So... We're going to go ahead and drag that onto right here. And I'm trying to think of how we're going to do this. Uh, okay. So hold on. Remove that effect. And um, I, well, actually, obviously, since um, you know I'm working on this specific clip, you know, you could use this however you want. But for this instance, I want the screen to split into three separate parts with the same image in each three windows. Um, and the easiest way to do it, you know, I could keyframe it so it just comes in right where this flag is, but the easiest way to honestly do this is just click where, you know, you'd want the effect to come in, and I'm going to split the clip so I don't have to keyframe it. Um, I'm going to drag it on right now, and you have options in here um, to make it as many windows and all that crap as you want, so let me see here. I believe I'm on 10 right now. So yeah, right where it comes in, I'm going to make it come in with two right there, uh, right where the first flag is. And then I'm going to go ahead and click this animate clock button. And I can go ahead and then click where the second flag is and move it so that now there's three windows. And then I can click where the third flag is and we could go ahead and pretty much um, and end and the effect right there. Uh, you really don't have to do anything. Um, it's going to continue on with those three windows. I would just suggest splitting, you know, the clip right there. And then on the next clip, just take the effect off. So that's pretty much it, guys. Um, yeah, so the, we're going to check it out. I'm going to pre-render the whole thing one more time, and I'm going to show you the finished product of kind of, you know, some cool stuff you could do with the fisheye lens effect. Okay, guys, it's pre-rendered, so let's check this out. Okay, well, the blinds, you know, might have not come in at the right time, you know, whatever. But you get the idea, guys. So there you go. That's how you can make the fisheye lens effect. If anything wasn't clear or anything like that within this video, um, let me know. Drop a comment down in the comments section, and I will do my best to help you out. Um, but yeah, it's pretty simple. It's really just this circular gradient. Um, you know, the effect itself, uh, which is under sphere eyes. Um, that kind of gives the enlarged look in the middle. And then, you know, other effects like transitions and stuff is just all an added bonus of what you could really do with it. So, um, yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a like. It really helps me out. And as always, it's Ophilly215. Peace!